everyone, it is Mona here at Crab Clutch, and I use a lot of resin in my crabs and a lot of golf balls, and I thought it was time we brought them together. And we're going to make a lamp. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you probably know that I have a lot of golf balls. My husband and I will go just looking for them in the fall, and we have a ridiculous amount of golf balls, and we give the really good ones away to the golfers in you know, in our family or friends or neighbors, and the rest I just keep for crafting. This is a great time to use some of the golf balls that might be damaged or just golf balls that we can't get rid of. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare seven ounces of the resin. This is the mold that I'm going to be using, and I bought it off of Amazon, and if you're looking for it, you can find it. I have it linked over on my website at craftclatch.com, where you'll find the full directions for this and all of my other crafts as well. And I'm using the Envirotex Light on this project. I have made seven ounces. I measured carefully, mixed it really well, and I'm using a quarter cup of glitter. We'll see if that's enough. I think it should be enough. I'm going to pour it right in there. All right, now I'm going to just pour it right in, and I'm going to pour it from the middle because I don't want it to kind of drip on the sides or anything. And I'm going to want to give this a couple of minutes to let the bubbles rise to the surface before I put the golf balls in. Because when I put the golf balls in, I'm not going to want to be using the lighter on it anymore. Um, could use a straw. The glitter is in the resin, and now I'm just going to take my lighter. I've let it sit for. A um, couple minutes, and I'm going to just run it over real quick, pop any bubbles. Alright, now what I'm going to do is carefully place these into the resin. I'm going to let it sit until it hardens enough, then I will take it out and I'll put it on a flat surface to let it continue curing because I only have the one mold. And, and I have to do three other sides. So I'm going to repeat this process three times. The golf balls have set and now I'm going to just remove this. This is going to be the first side to the base of our lamp. The golf balls are set in there very tightly and securely. Here is the bottom, which you'll never see because that will be the inside of the lamp. I have two base pieces. They're four by four, and they're just like a wood pine piece plaque that I got at the craft store. And I have some cherry stain, and I'm going to take it, I've mixed it up, and I'm just going to paint it right over and let it soak in. And then it's up to you if you want to do one coat or two, depending on the coverage. After it had been sitting for a while, I took any excess stain that was still just sitting on the surface. With a paper towel, I rubbed it off. That's what they had recommended on the, on the can. I'll let it dry and then I'll do the bottom. I have some quarter round wood pieces that you just get at the hardware store. Cut to the height of the lamp. And I just put some regular acrylic paint right into um, just a cup. I'm going to add some water, really water it down, and I'm going to give these a wash just to add a little bit of color. Okay, then I'm going to take a paper towel, wipe it right off. That leaves some red color on there, and if it's not enough, go over it again. And do it again. And you might let it sit for a minute. If It's all depending upon the effect that you're going for. I'm going to start putting the sides together. And... These are the brackets that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to line them up in the middle of this second golf ball. But I want to pre-drill the hole. I'm going to use my rotary tool for that with a small drill bit. So I'm going to hold it right up to the edge, and you want to feel along the edge to make sure that it hits the corner and then it's right on the edge and not hanging over. And then you want to carefully try to get right in the middle, turn on your rotary tool or your drill, and that's all you need to do. Now take a screw, then you just take the drill and drill that screw right in there. Now what you want to do is take the corresponding edge on the other one 
and you want to do the same thing do a pilot hole and then put the screw in now I have the the base and the cap stained and dry and now I need to find the center point of my square and I'm using a ruler and I know that most of the outside is going to be covered and I don't want to draw a pencil line all the way across so what I'm going to do is line it up corner to corner with a pencil make a mark toward the center and then do that here also corner to corner now you have your center of both your pieces and now I have to turn this thing into a lamp and I need to drill a couple of holes into the wood base to accommodate this size. I'm ready to drill the hole into my pieces and I have a couple of pieces of wood just to raise it up off my table so I don't drill a hole into the table. And I have my drill bit. Once you have your holes drilled you want to put your lamp kit in. And you've got your nut, your screw, and put it together. And I'm going to put it on here so it can stand a little straight. I already put the joiner piece into here. I've centered these onto the base and now I'm going to remove one of them. I'm going to glue just under the base. I know you can't see it but it's just to hold this in place because I'm going to need to flip it over. Okay and I'm going to take this one and just put the glue right underneath and then place it back down. I'll let that cool and then I'll be able to flip it over carefully and hope that they don't shift. We've drilled some pilot holes in here and now we have some screws and this is to anchor the base to the body of the lamp. Here it is all drilled in so it's nice and tight. So everything is in place. I've threaded the lamp piece through here and now I need to, and this is still a little bit loose but don't worry about that. I've got my E6000 which will keep everything in place. I'm going to run it along the corners here. Everything feels pretty secure, but it's always nice to give it a little extra security. And I'm going to run a little bit along the tops here. All right, so that's in there, but I'm going to run a thin bead along the edges of all of these and I'll carefully put it in. Now I have everything secured and I want to put a little bit of decorations around the base so if you had any glue seep out or anything this is the perfect time to hide it. And I'm going to use a little bit of the E6000 again as well as my hot glue. And I'm going to put just a dab of hot glue on the golf tee here. And using a skewer stick, I'm going to add a little bit of the E6000 as well at both ends. And then I'm going to place it carefully on the lamp base. And I'm going to add a couple of those here and there. I painted four of these dowel heads with the same red wash as I did on the, on the lamp. And then I did some triple thick to seal it and I have four of those. There are a couple things I have left to do. The first one is to attach the feet to the bottom so I want to get them placed where I want them. Once I get them placed where I want them I'm going to do a combination of hot glue and the E6000 to put them in place and the hot glue will just keep everything where it needs to be while the E6000 cures. So I'm going to fill that whole thing with the E6000, a little hot glue around, oops, maybe more than a little, squish it down, repeat on the rest. Because I'm going with a black shade, the very last thing I want to add to this is a little piece of black ribbon around the bottom. And this is just to carry the black down from the top and give it a little accent. And I'm going to just do that with a little bit of hot glue right on the end. I'll start right on the end. Kind of end it right in a corner and then I'll just add some hot glue as I go and follow it all the way around the base. You guys, the lamp is pretty much finished. 
and I have it sitting on a stool so that you guys can see it. And I have this lampshade. If you like the project, I'd love it if you'd give the video a thumbs up and we'll definitely see you next time. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Happy crafting.